why am I laughing today? Because I was trying to like position my camera. I always throw it up here on the same place. Everyone asks where I have my camera. I just throw it up on the counter. I have like a bi-level counter here in the kitchen. So I just throw it up here. But I feel like I'm either showing my whole head or half my body or whatever. It's always like a weird place. I'm gonna have to have think of a new place to put the camera. It just seems kind of weird. But maybe it's because my hair is so big and ratty like a bird's nest today. More so than usual. Anyway, happy Tuesday. Sorry about being absent yesterday, but I still blogged. So, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Boom. We're already 10 days into 60 days. And I did. I almost said I did and I'm doing. I'm doing what I said I would do. So that's all there is to it. Mr. Flo? Mr. Flo, we're getting back into it. We're feeling stronger every day. So exciting. Today will be what workout? What's my workout going to be today? I think today will be cardio and shoulders and back. Well, wait a minute. Back and biceps is. Why do I have to do back and biceps? I can do shoulders and biceps if I want. Maybe what I'll do, I definitely like to start the week off with my favorite thing, which is shoulders. So I'll do shoulders and something. Um, but actually, while I'm talking to you, I'm going to be getting my lunch stuff ready. Uh, roasted vegetables. So our trifecta today, Brussels sprouts, sweet potato, and uh, red onion. Of course, if I actually end up doing this while I'm talking to you, that'll be funny. But here's what gets me angry. I ordered my groceries from Pete Pod yesterday. Now tell me what the hell that is at the end of that sweet potato. I didn't do that. That's upsetting. It looks like somebody like amputated part of this sweet potato, and I'm going to call about it. Because I'm not going to cook that. It looks like Oh, and there's like a part that, look, I don't like that. I don't like things that are not clean and like looking normal. So anyway, the other thing is I'm going to be registering today, told you guys about this before, for Dirty Girl Mud Run. Now remember, I said this before, um, Dirty Girl Mud Run is a client of my company, Fitfluential. So um, that said, I'm going to be running the, we're helping them to promote specifically, obviously, all of these great races, which are designed for, um, not, they're designed to make it access accessible for everybody, not just the, um, I almost said not just the beginner, not just for like the hard, hardcore, it is just women, ladies, and um, you get this cute, I mean, I've told you guys, how cute is this? I don't know if you can see this. You get this cute box of stuff when you sign up. It has a hat, let's see. Uh, there's a video in here. <laughs> they actually send you some mud. I'm not putting that on right now. Um, looks like there's a tank top, and I love this. Cosmopolitan starter. And then there's soap. Um, so anyway, we're doing, um, I don't have the dates in there, but we're doing um, Indianapolis and Atlanta. So if you want to join, register with me, people. And I'll put a link up to... Um, the Dirty Girl Mud Run stuff on the Fitfluential site so you can see the information. But it's going to be really, really fun. And again, these races, you know, there's so many races out there right now are really fun um, events that you can do. But these are specifically for women only. And secondly, they are designed so that anybody, you don't have to be running marathons to do it. You don't have to be like, you know, in ultimate conditioning shape to do it. It's designed so that everybody can do it and, and more to just have fun. So I'm very excited. I know that the Atlanta one is, uh, I think April 28th, like the last week in, in um, April. So we'll be down there and then Indy, I gotta look up Indy. The rest of the year is starting to get really busy. Um, but anyway, here's the deal. Here's what happened yesterday. Well, actually it started Sunday. I have no idea. My mom and I had like the same bizarre weird thing. We weren't hanging around each other, that's what's weird. My mom calls me like Saturday, or my dad even told me, and he's like, you know, your mom's laying down, she has this weird stomach thing, and I'm like, oh, okay. And so then Sunday, I got up, went to church, went for my run, came home, felt great, had, I made, one of my meals that I made that day was gluten-free pasta, excuse me, it's gluten-free, but it's brown rice pasta. So I made brown, one big batch of brown rice pasta, um, and then I put tomato sauce on it with a little fake cheese that someone's making fun of me for, um, and then a can of tuna, and then I divided that into two. So I had the first part like right after my workout, and then I was having the second part later, and I don't know when this eerie, like, when I say eerie, I mean, 
Okay, there's there's three kinds of stomach aches. Eerie, throw up, or the other kind. There's ways that things leave your system, if you know what I'm saying. And I'm not gonna get into it because I have issues talking about bathroom issues, okay? So all I'm gonna say is, usually like, if food upsets my stomach, you know, you feel like an upset stomach in your lower, like where most of us are trying to lose fat, right? Where your pudge is. Um, which I will tell you, mine's getting smaller every freaking day. Ah! Um, secondly, so here's the deal. Usually that's where I have an upset stomach if food is upsetting me in the lower. This was all like, I, you can't see below my boobs, neither can I. Um, but it was like upper, like right, right below your boob. It felt like it's like right in between my rib cage. And it was just this like dull, weird pain that made me like, I can't, it, honestly, you guys, it, I haven't had this in a while, but it reminded me of, you're gonna need to wait a minute. That's my oven talking to me. It reminded me of when I had this like weird feeling when I had, I ended up having an appendectomy. Now clearly, that's not the case here because that little appendix has already been removed. Um, so I had this just straight and it just got worse and worse and worse. And I went to bed Sunday night and I kid you not, I didn't sleep all night. I was tossing and turning, I was out here on my couch, I was in there, I was hot. My stomach felt like there was an alien developing inside of it that was gonna, if you watch that movie, Alien, where it's like, Aah! and there's like an alien that comes out of the stomach. That's what I thought was happening to me. It was so bizarre. No sore throat, no cold symptoms, nothing. Just this strange feeling of like, what is going on inside my stomach? So I had to take a nap. I had to cancel my calls on Monday. I actually went and I took a nap. I didn't work out because I was literally like, I think if I move, I would throw up or something, but I didn't. It was just bizarre. And then the only thing I had to eat yesterday, I had some hummus and then I went to Kentucky Fried Chicken last night and got some plain mashed potatoes because that's like all I wanted. That's all I wanted was like soft, mushy food. I have to tell you, I have like this little, 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 reminder of the feeling of it still in there, but I think it's better. But all that to say, I have no idea what was going on. But Martin, I am feeling better. Um, so there's that. And just for all of you that say, Kelly, how come you didn't drink water today? I'm off my game. I only did half a bottle. Anyway, so I'm gonna cut up my vegetables, I'm gonna roast them. Um, I have a call in 20 minutes. Luckily, my 11 o'clock call moved to 12 o'clock. So, and then I have a 12 o'clock, a one o'clock, a two o'clock, a three o'clock. And then, I'm gonna work out. As you can see, I'm in my workout clothes because there's no excuses. There will not be a, oh, I'm tired. Because <laughs> I kind of got over that last week. You know, there were times I never really enjoy, I'm not quite sure what's going on with the hand gestures. I never really enjoy working out at night. I like to get it over during the day. But if I don't get it over during the day, like today, I let myself sleep in because I was sick. So I slept in till, you don't even want to know how late I slept in. I think I slept in till 8.30. Not gonna lie. Guess what, I'm the boss, so I'm allowed to. Um, anyway. Um, sorry, I'm getting sidetracked. Um, I have to go get ready for my call, and um, that's all there is to it. So, things are going really well. I'm going to tell you guys every single day I feel better, I look better, um, everything's working. I mean, technically I've really only been at it back, back at it since I've been home from being gone, what, 10 days, like I said. Um, but I just, it feels so great to be working out hard, to be back at the weights, to be consistent, to have put this challenge out there for myself and to be doing it. And it, it just, I don't know, it feels good to feel good. You know, it feels good to be on a roll and I'm just not gonna let it stop. So I'm glad as heck that I put it out there that I'm doing this for 60 days. Cause there's no way I'm gonna keep up this momentum and do so awesome for 60 days and then go, ah, you know what I think? I think I wanna go back to like only working out like randomly and not feeling good about myself. Plus, so many fun things coming up this summer, so I have to be in fighting shape for that. Know what I'm saying? So you guys have a great rest of the day. This is actually my first vlog under 10 minutes in forever. Let's have a celebration. <laughs>